That's the last time I try skateboarding inside while drinking a milkshake. Hey, that sounds like the setup of a TV show. <laughs> but alas, this is real life. Where people say things like alas. Ugh, that's disgusting. Well, hello, Brandon, old buddy, old pal. Isn't today glorious? Yes. Wow, is that milkshake? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I have some? What? Thank you. Oh. What, what, um, that's amazing. What flavor is that? Strawberry. Oh, oh, oh. Are you sure it's not dirty floor flavor? Not originally, no. Oh, oh, okay. You sure? Because that really tastes like it's... What is wrong with you? What? Hey, everyone. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So-and-So Show. So, you ate a milkshake off of a dirty mop. Uh, right? Okay. Maybe there's a little explanation in order. Yes, I think so. <laughs> These are an invention I made based on the idea of rose-colored glasses. Rose-colored glasses? Yes, looking through rose-colored glasses. You've heard that before. Yes, it's an idiom. Mm -hmm. What'd you call me? I didn't call you anything. I, no, it's an... Anyway, the saying means you see things more positive than they really are. Yeah. And seeing as how the world can be a little unpleasant at times, I have been on the hunt to find some good things. So I made these super powerful glasses that alter my vision and make everything wonderful. <laughs> Hunt no more! So they make everything wonderful like making a dirty mop look like a delicious milkshake. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. Okay, you know what? I'll prove these are a good idea. Come on, come on. Let's put these to the test while we listen to some 80s music. This should be good. Come on. Those things are dangerous. No, they just they just need a few adjustments. Really? After all that, you, you think these are a good idea? Uh, uh, okay. Just come on, come on, throw something else at me. Don't make me look like an idiom in front of the KUDS. Did you say cuds? Kids. Kids. Right, okay. Well, I got a game that's gonna really put these to the test. You ready? Oh, yeah! A game! <laughs> Bring it on! Is it hopscotch or a big painful mess? It's both. It's hopsplosh. Oh, hopsplosh! Yes, I love this game. What is it? How do we play? It's easy. Oh, huh? it's just like normal hopscotch, but with applesauce and Legos. Oh, awesome! Simply throw the plastic building blocks into a square. Uh huh. Then using one foot per square. Hop through the applesauce filled squares without falling and without putting your feet in the square that has the plastic building blocks in it. Easy, let's do it. All right, here are the Legos you need to throw. Wow, thanks Brandon. Mm -hmm. Grab a handful. Woo, let's do two, just for good luck. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. The plastic building bricks completely disappeared. Are you, no, are you serious? They're clearly right there. Shh, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Let's hop slosh! Ah! Oh. John loses. Oh, oh! And that's all the time we have for hop slosh. <sighs> Ah. <sighs>
You know what I'm thinking? Rose-colored glasses should go away? Maybe a little bit. Hmm. Well, this seems like a good time to move on to... Bible, Bible story time, time with Kellen! Kellen. Alright, today I've got a Bible verse I want to talk about. A verse? Yeah. Not a story? Yeah. But why not a whole story? Because... We don't know what to do without a story! Guys, yes, yes. I am only teaching one verse, but trust me, it's worth focusing on. Okay, let's hear the verse. Awesome. Here it is. Proverbs 22, 3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Yeah, well, I'm feeling pretty childish after that game. Mm -hmm. You demonstrated our verse pretty well, but I wanted to demonstrate someone seeing danger and not running from it without hurting anyone. So allow me to introduce Count Lupe and his friend, Mr. Fritter. One day, Count Lupe and his friend Mr. Fritter were talking about things they'd like to do. I've always wanted someone to properly train me how to parkour. Where people literally jump from buildings and high places and don't get hurt. Yes. Why train? It looks easy enough. See, just jump from here to there. I don't think this is wise at all. Puppy Kosh! Watch. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Don't got it! You. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Yeah, he suffered for it. I mean, that seems so obvious. Don't jump off a building. Hey, you think your glasses would have helped in that situation? Good answer. Mm, yeah. Let's see what Count Lupe does next. One day, I hope to be good enough to spar with that black belt over there. Why wait? Sparring is sparring. I will challenge him to a fight right now. Wait! That wasn't wise. Man, that is the least intelligent cantaloupe I have ever seen. So what this verse is basically saying is when we hear what God says and when we listen to God's spirit, it'll save us from making really dumb decisions. Now, these scenarios were extreme, almost ridiculous. And they were fruit. Right. But applying this verse plays out in our lives in a lot of practical ways. Wise people are careful about choosing what they look at on the internet, the kind of friends they hang out with, or what types of risks they're willing to take. If any of those things have a chance of hurting them or someone else, they don't do it. They walk away. That's great. Hey, what's the verse one more time? Proverbs 22, 3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, man. That was a good verse. You're welcome. See you guys. Well, what did we learn today, John? First, that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Second, and more important, if it looks dangerous, don't do it. Look before you leap. Right, with your real eyes, not with rose-colored glasses. Right. So, that brings us to today's question. Yeah, reveal that big bad question. What could keep you from being wise? So good. What are those things in us or that outside are, of us? Yeah, that keep us from listening to wisdom. Talk about it, explore it, be inspired by it. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yes. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show! Bye! Okay. Falling off the and table. More weight. Oh. Slide that back. You hear that? It's a weird noise. Uh, was it the sound of you smashing glasses? Oh, yeah.
I love, I love having antiques for props.